This is just a very short video to show you how to do multiple regression in Jump. So we've used two different analyze functions up till now. Analyze distribution is when you have only one variable. So that'd be like a chi-square goodness of fit test or a one sample t-test, um, something where you have only one variable. Fit y by x, that's for the case where you have exactly two variables, an explanatory variable and a response variable. So we've seen several of these, a two sample t-test, a chi-square test of independence, and simple regression. Now we're going to move down to fit model. So what makes fit model different is that here you can have more than one explanatory variable. Okay, so I'm going to look at predicting acceleration. So I'm going to put acceleration in the Y box. That's my response. And then down here where it says construct model effects, that's where I'm going to put all of my explanatory variables. Um, so let's go ahead and put weight and horsepower here. And once I've done that, I'm going to click Run. Um, by the way, looking at this, just to make sure that it looks right, sometimes if your output is looking crazy, it's because these have gotten changed. So it should be standard least squares and effect leverage. So this output looks a little bit different. This main plot over here is not a regular scatter plot um, because, of course, a scatter plot is a two-dimensional picture, so you can really only easily show two variables at a time. Um, so instead, this is showing the relationship between the predicted values and the actual values, but we're not going to do a whole lot with that graph. Um, you don't need all of this stuff. So residual by predicted plot, you've seen those before in the output for simple regression. Um, and we'll use that when we get to the checking residuals part. Um, the summary of fit, this looks very similar to what it looked like for simple linear regression, R squared, root mean square error, that kind of thing. The analysis of variance table, we're going to use that as a way to test for the overall model. Um, so there's a video later about how to do that. Um, and then the parameter estimates, this looks similar to what you've seen for simple regression. The only difference is that now we have more than one slope because we have more than one variable. And that's really all you need from that. Um, it can also be helpful to um, just make some graphs to explore the data. So let me quickly show you how you can include more than one or more than two variables on a graph. So I'm going to go to Graph Builder. And let's say I'm initially interested in the relationship between weight and acceleration. So I'm putting weight on the x-axis and acceleration on the y-axis. Um, and I'm seeing this negative relationship here, which is weird that um, you know heavier cars actually tend to have faster acceleration. Um, but maybe that's due to horsepower, and I want to take that into account. I'm going to take the horsepower variable here and drag it where it says overlay. And when I do that, the color of the dots is going to change according to the horsepower. You can see the categories that it created here. Um, and then I'm also getting a separate regression line for each level of horsepower. Um, so that's really helpful. Now I can see within each horsepower level, what's the relationship between weight and acceleration. In other words, I can say, what's the relationship between weight and acceleration after controlling for horsepower? Um, so playing around with Graph Builder can be really helpful here.